Hi, welcome to this video on searching and sorting algorithms as part of the OCR spec. So firstly, let's go over the search algorithms. The most simple search algorithm is linear search. This algorithm checks each item in the list in turn until it finds the item it is looking for. It is designed for searching in an unordered list and is very simplistic. However, this makes it very inefficient when searching in large lists and so it should only be used on smaller lists where a more complex search algorithm such as binary would be a waste of time. Speaking of binary, nice transition I know, this search algorithm is more complex and so requires an ordered list to search. It finds the middle item in the list and the item we're searching for is then compared with the middle item. And if it comes before, the second half of the list is removed. And if it comes after, the first half of the list is removed. This process is then repeated until the item you're searching for is found. This search is far more efficient than linear search at searching large lists, but it needs a list to be ordered and is more complex to code. Moving on to sorting algorithms, the most basic kind is an insertion sort. In this method, it takes each item and compares it to the item before it, placing it where it belongs. This method is carried out for every item in the list. Its benefits are that it's simple to code and works well with smaller lists, although it suffers in efficiency when dealing with larger lists. Next is a bubble sort. In this method, the first two items are selected and left alone if they are in the correct order and swapped if not. It then moves on to the next two items, which it then checks again. This sequence then continues until it has reached the end of the list. It then repeats, going through the list again until there are no more swaps to be made. These repeats going through the list are called passes. The algorithm is simplistic and memory efficient, although it is very slow when sorting large lists. And finally there is the merge sort. In this method a list is split into two, then split again. This process continues until the lists only contain two items each. These items are then either swapped or stay in the same place. They are then merged with the list they split from and are ordered once more. This process then repeats until the list is completely ordered. The benefits are that it is more efficient and quicker than the other algorithms at sorting large lists. It is also consistent with a data usage and suffers from using a greater amount of memory as well as being wasted when sorting smaller lists or already sorted lists. The algorithm is also quite complex and harder to program than the others. Thanks for watching this short video on the search and sort algorithms. I hope it helps tomorrow the exams and good luck.